Established in 1947, Blood Dairy is located near the small town of State Center, Iowa. Over the last 25 years, the family-owned dairy has quietly expanded their operations to become one of the more progressive dairies in the central region of the state. In the next couple of years, they plan to increase their dairy herd once again. In order to accommodate the expansion, the dairy decided that 2020 would be the year they increased their corn acres in preparation for the added feed demand. The derecho winds on Monday, August 10th did not do them any favors. Known as a derecho, a massive storm producing winds of up to 131 miles per hour rolled through the central plains, affecting parts of South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio, flattening crops along the way. Few areas were hit harder than central Iowa, where the corn crop was approaching silage harvest maturity. Buildings, trees, and power lines were toppled during the storm. Tall, top-heavy stalks of corn were little match for the hurricane force winds. Just a couple weeks before they expected to start harvesting, the blood's entire corn crop was laid flat in the field. As soon as the winds went through, the bloods knew they were on a clock. Instead of gaining maturity, the corn crop was snapped at the base and quickly started losing nutritional value. Harvesting crews were promptly called in from all over the region to support the two Jaguar 980s owned by the Bloods and their neighbor's custom harvesting operation. Between the two Jaguar 980s designated for the job and up to eight additional custom choppers in the field, harvest of the downed corn had started, but it was still moving slowly. While relentlessly supporting the multiple machines in the field, Dwayne Lammy, the Bloods Cloth Service Technician at Arnold's, quickly realized that additional resources were needed. He made a call to the Cloth product team, and together they hatched a plan. Their plan included adding a Jaguar 990 to the mix with a pre-series Orbis 900 head, set to be publicly released just two months later. The new Orbis 900 head looks a lot like the old one, but it offers a number of design improvements specifically engineered to work better in down crops. A frame made from a single piece of stamped metal increased the strength and durability of the head, critical when floating along the ground in auto contour mode. The new frame also extends out further than prior models, which accommodate shorter, stronger points that lift the crop better. This combination, along with lower profile cutting and transport discs and better positioned feed drums, allows the new head to lift down crops and pull them into the feeder house more efficiently than ever before. To further increase its ability to harvest the corn, a new down crop kit was installed to adapt the Orbis 900 head to the challenging conditions. The kit contains two tall down corn drums that help gather the crop better on the outside discs. In the center of the head, a longer down corn point is available to help lift down crop into the head. On each disc, a section of bolt-on lifters and crop guides are also available for guiding stalks of corn into the head. One additional advantage to the new Orbis 900 is the tilting faceplate. By tilting the head down, operators can really take advantage of the down crop features to gather corn that would have normally been missed. In a head-to-head -head comparison, dealing with a stubborn down corn, the new Orbis 900 was able to harvest a staggering 270% more silage than the previous Orbis 900 in the same amount of time. Still not fully satisfied with the performance advantages offered by the new head and down crop kit, the Kloss team took one additional step by adding a speed-up kit to the Jaguar Forage Harvester. They theorized that by increasing the drum speed on the new head, they should be able to increase the crop flow in the down crop conditions. Their assumption was correct. In fact, by speeding up the head, productivity of the new Orbis 900 increased by an astonishing 45 to 60 percent. With the kit installed, the new Orbis 900 was able to harvest the down corn in any direction, eliminating the costly process of deadheading back to the start of the field, which is typical when harvesting down corn. Before installing the kit, the new Orbis 900 was already handling the crop better than any other machine in the field. 
including a head known to do well in down crop conditions. To get a bump in throughput up to 60% was beyond impressive. After three weeks of intensive harvesting, including some critical support by their Kloss dealer, Blood Dairy was able to harvest their entire crop, keeping them on track for their future expansion plans.